All right, I'm back um, inside again. Um, I was actually just out shooting, but I didn't do any video uh, then. I was just out there kind of real quick. But something that I did want to accomplish today um, is refletching these arrows. Now, I did a video on fletching using this Grayling fletching jig um, a while back. I'll put a link to that. And, and everything in the video is still very true. One thing, though, that I did not, I did not realize um, was that you have these knobs on top here. And I know you can, you can kind of, you can use them to adjust uh, and like you slide this magnet up and down so it gets closer or further away from the arrow shaft. What I didn't realize was that I could curve it a little bit and I could use it to get that nice swirl or curve on the feather. Maybe that was just dumb on my part. I don't know why I didn't understand that. Um, but I'm going to try to do that today and I'm going to do it with the only real feathers I have that are long enough, which are these green ugly ones right here. Now, let me show you. I've seen these on a lot of my arrows, but they're the ones I'm going to use. They're 5 inch? 5 inch? I think they are. Anyway, there's something. Is it tail on here? Yeah, they're 5 inch. So, the ones I have on here right now uh, are these. Some of them are falling apart. And they are uh, okay, I guess. But they're just too they're just too short. They don't provide enough stabilization on the arrows. And since I've changed my anchor point, my arrows are a little stiff for my bow. Um, and 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 they're not as tuned as, as they should be. So I really want to get some four hundred spine arrows. These are five hundreds. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these off, um, and I'm going to put these green ones on. One thing that's that's neat about these, uh, about using the tape, the way that I fletch, using this uh, two-sided fletching tape, is that you can just take and peel your your feathers up without a lot of mess. You don't have to do a lot of sanding or weird stuff. I mean, you're going to destroy the feather, but you know you can pull it right off there, and it leaves a clean surface. Now, I do have some some uh, rubbing alcohol here. I'm going to take that and. Um, just go over and take any stickiness that's on there off, but there's not really any. So I'm going to quickly just pull all these off of here. And then uh, once I'm done there, I'm going to uh, go ahead and fletch these up. And I'm going to try to get this jig tuned in and get that nice spiral on there. So, yeah, let's get it done. things fletched up. So I'm just going to put this uh, feather in here. Again, you can watch my other fletching video. Uh, if you want to see exactly kind of how to use this jig, how I line it up, I just kind of pick a mark uh, on here uh, and always put it in there. I think this is like an inch from the uh, end of the knock of the arrow or from the groove of the knock. So, ah. so I'm going to do that. Toss one of these in here.
the trick is gonna be getting this piece right here lined up. So let's see if we can do that. All right, so this is a right wing lamp, right wing air, uh, feathers. So it's gonna fit down just on the shaft like that. But we want it to have more of a, of a curve where it comes out more. We wanna get that spiral on it. So I'm gonna line the bottom edge up with the edge of the plastic here. So it's kind of as far back as it can go. And I guess I'm gonna take the front one. It's actually got little notches our little, like, indicators, I guess. Um, so I'm going to move it out some. Try to go extreme with it. Let's see. I'll go second to the farthest one out. So I'm all the way back. Got this one pushed all the way back. This one loosened and pulled all the way, uh, all but one notch forward. So... Let's see. Let's see how that does. So when that goes down on there. Alright, so the problem is right now is that my probably can't see that, but the uh, bottom of the feather isn't even touching the shaft on this end. So I'm definitely gonna have to move it in some. So I'm gonna pull it in just enough to where it'll make contact on it. Just, uh, like, right off it. Let's see if I can find a one there. So that's what, halfway up? I'm right in the middle. So, that should stick. <laughs> that's going to be fun because it's kind of going to be yeah, I think I'm doing this right. It shouldn't be the other way, because the feathers are curved. So the feathers are curved in. All right, we're going to give it a shot. So I'm going to take this off. These are tightened down. This one's set on the middle notch. This one's set all the way back. So I'm going to throw some tape on here and uh, see what we get. You know, I try, you know, I try in these vlogs to make it, um, makes them as short and concise, but I almost can't help but ramble. Stuff takes, takes time. <laughs> Cut it. I'm trying to make these sort of as raw as possible. There's always times for a good polished video, but sometimes you just want to see like everything that happened. All right, so tape is off of that. Uh, sticky side's on. Or rather, the tape is on, but the coating's pulled off of the two-sided tape. So I'm going to stick it on here. Try to get that in my end camera. Not really. All right, well, I'll show it in just a minute. Push it down. Push it on. All right. Turn this around. Not hit myself in the head with an arrow. So... Uh, see, it's really far out on this side and really far back on that side, which I think is what we want. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to give it a go. There we go. Spin it back around and squeeze the clamp and take it off. Now, that should be set down on there. I have it just barely, it's just barely getting on the, this end's just barely getting on the shaft of the arrow. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to rotate it. 
Oh, I got this tightened down too much. Oh my goodness. Mm. Wow, I had that tight. This knob right here tightens down um, how much force it takes to turn this knob to take like the wiggle out of it, which is another thing in the other video, the fletching video I did. I commented and said this had some play in it. Well, if you tighten this down, it'll take the play out of it for sure. So uh, that knob right there tightens the tension down on this, the big crank knob that has the steps in it. So, all right, that's turned around, and uh, I'm going to keep doing it, and then we'll see what we get at the end. All right, let's put this other one on. So, you probably saw I knocked the... Uh, jig over a while ago you can uh, there's holes in the bottom of the jig you can actually mount it to a table um, so that it won't do that but I've just got like an old dinner tray right here <clears throat> um, but you could you could mount it to a piece of wood or something you see a lot of people mount them to a two by four. Give them extra weight or to a workbench or something like that. Just rub that, push that spine down. They look curved, but it's going to be hard to tell until I get it off. So I actually have to pick it up to turn it, or else I'll knock it over. So, here goes the other fletch. If this makes it into my final edit, I have a question. What archery-related TV and movies and things do you guys really like? Come on in. All right, so that is the last, this is the last uh, fletch has been put on this thing. Hopefully we're in focus and I'm gonna just unclamp it and, oh, this is hard to do backwards. Um, take it out, let's see what we got. Wow. Oh, okay. Did I do it correctly? Did I do it correctly? I think so, because of the because of the feather because the feather curves that way, right? And so that is how that's curved. So it, I had to have done it right. The spiral is decent. Um, these these feathers just kind of stink. Um, they're probably not the best uh, ones for it, but that certainly is a curve, and and it's it's uh, it looks pretty good, I think. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go with it. I'm going to do the rest of mine that way. I've certainly seen better ones, but I don't know. If you guys have any tips or however you get really pretty helical, helical fletched um, arrows using your jig, um, let me know. I mean, this is the only way that I really know how to do it, and um, I mean, I think it's right. <laughs> anyway... I'll talk to you guys uh, next time. If you haven't already, get subscribed to my channel, like my videos, share my videos, do all that kind of good stuff, and um, always try to hit the mark. See you later.